Here's an example number one. Absolute value of 2 thirds x plus 2 is equal to 10. Absolute value implies there's two possible solutions. So in this case, you set it up 2 thirds x plus 2 is equal to 10. Or the other possibility is 2 thirds x plus 2 is equal to negative 10. We're going to solve this equation by subtracting 2 to both sides of the equation simultaneously. So we have 2 thirds x is equal to 8. Or 2 thirds x is equal to negative 12. Now to solve this equation, you have to multiply the reciprocal 3 over 2. So in this case, the coefficients cancel out, so we got x is equal to, well, 2 reduces to 8 4 times, so x can equal 12. In this case, you have to do the same thing, 3 over 2. So 2's cancel out, and 3's cancel out, x is equal to, 2 reduces to 12 6 times. So in this case, you get negative 18. There you have it. Now here's example number two. Absolute value of 30 minus 7x is equal to 4. Now you could put the video on hold, and you try to solve this on your own. Okay, now to solve this one, again, two possible solutions. So you set it up as 30 minus 7x is equal to 4. Or 30 minus 7x is equal to its opposite, negative 4. To start solving for x, we're going to get rid of the constant 30 by subtracting 30 to both sides of the equation. And you do that to this one as well. So on the first equation, you get 7x on the left side and that equals negative 26. Here you get negative 7x on the left side but this one becomes negative 34. To solve for x you divide the coefficients negative 7 to both sides of the equation. So x equals negative and negative becomes positive 26 over 7. And here x equals again negative and negative becomes a positive 34 over 7. Just for visual, 26 over 7 is like saying 3 and 5 7. And of course, this one is like saying 4 and 6 over 7. But those are the two possible answers that will make this absolute value true. I mean, let's take a look at absolute value inequality. For example, let's say absolute value of 7x plus 5 is less than 23. Now, before you get all excited here, think about this for a second. When something is less than 23, that means when we do this, the other possible solution is to be greater than negative 23. Less than 23 greater than negative 23. So we're going to have a thing that's going to be converging. And when two lines converge, we're going to have an AND situation. Keeping that in mind, here's the way you set it up. 7x plus 5 is less than 23. And we're going to go 7x plus 5, its opposite greater than negative 23. Now we're going to solve this just like the equation the subtraction property of inequality in this case. So you end up with 7x is less than 18 and here you get 7x is greater than negative 28. Solve for x by dividing the coefficient 7 to both sides of the inequality. Then here you get x is less than 18 over 7. Here you get x is greater than negative 4. 
you were to draw that on a number line, this one's positive. This can be seen as 2 and 4 seventh, but it's going to be over here. 18 over 7. Less than means 18 over 7 is not part of the solution, so it will be open circle, and less than means to go left. Here is negative 4. Again, open circle, but this time it's going to be greater than negative 4, so shade it to the right. Again, as I mentioned before, it is converging, and it's an AND. So you have to write this inequality as a compound inequality where x is less than 18 over 7 and greater than negative 4. And that becomes your final solution to this absolute value. Now let's try example number 4 now. On your own, absolute value of 8x plus 28 is greater than or equal to 32. You could put the video on pause, and then I'll follow up. Okay, now to solve this inequality, again, there's two possible solutions. Now, before we get started again, think of this. Whatever this is, is greater than 32. So if this was 32, it's going to be greater than. And its opposite means it's going to be less than a negative. So this time we have a diverging line. So this is not an AND, this is going to be an OR situation. So we're going to have two separate inequalities. Now keeping that in mind, we set it up as 8x plus 28 is greater than or equal to 32. 8x plus 28 is less than or equal to its opposite, negative 32. Let's solve this simultaneously by subtracting 28 to both sides of the inequality. So we have 8x is greater than or equal to, well, 32 minus 28 is going to be 4. Here, 8x is going to be less than or equal to, they're both negative, so it becomes a bigger negative, 60. Solve for x by dividing the coefficient 8 to both sides of the inequality. So here you get x is greater than or equal to, reduces to 1 over 2. And this one becomes x is less than or equal to, well, 8 does not go into 60 perfectly. So it's going to be, well, let's see, their common factor is 4. So 4 goes into 60 15 times, 4 goes into 8 2 times. And if you wanted to see that visually, that would go in there 7 and 1 half times. And it's a negative. So now the number line, that's a negative, so it's going to go on the left, negative 15 over 2. This time it is a closed circle because it equals 2. And x is less than that to the left. Now, bigger number is a positive, so it's 1 half. That one indicates it's equal to, clo closed circle. Greater than means to share it right. So to keep it consistent with the number line, your answer should read as x is less than or equal to negative 15 over 2, or x is greater than or equal to 1 half. So there's your answer for that one.